All right, you guys, do me a favor. I want you to stand up. Okay, good. Now, if you're not standing up, stand up. All right, good. Now, foot position. Yeah, you didn't know you were going to get a pop quiz, did you? Foot position. I want you to be in an R W I. R W I. So when you look down, your feet should be your right foot's in front of your left foot. You're in a wide stance and your feet are turned in, right? R W I. Got that? Okay, fantastic. Now what I want you to do is you're going to squat for me. So your pelvis is going to move vertically downward. Good? Fantastic. Now I want you to do a bilateral hand reach anterior at knee height. Okay? So you should be going bilateral hand anterior, which is which way? Forward or backward or sideways? Right? Forward and at knee height. So where are your knees? So you should be going out forward. Okay? Perfect. That's all the nomenclature is. It's just a description of motion. Okay? You got that? Now, go back to an XXX. So XXX means you're neutral, neutral, neutral. So you're basically your anatomical position. And now I want you to simply reach down as if you're going to touch the floor or touch your toes. Now, if you can't touch the floor, you can't touch your toes, and just go down as far as you can. So if you go to your knee, fantastic. If you go to your hip, you got issues. If you can get down farther, please do. So as you've been down, now what I want you to think about is which one of the fascial lines, which one of the systems were you placing a stretch on? So if you're bending forward, which one is getting lengthened? Is it anterior line? Is it the posterior line? Is it something to do with spirals or laterals? Take a second. So if I lean over, which one? If you said the posterior aspect was getting lengthened or stretched, you're correct. So realize as you bend over that you're feeling that from the bottom of your foot, up through the calf, the back of the leg, the back, and up into the head. It goes all the way up. Because remember, it's all connected. OK? Got that? Awesome. So now, you've, you've kind of seen the nomenclature. You've been exposed to all these different things. And I'm going to tell you, it's not easy. It's not supposed to be easy. We're not, we're not doing this stuff to be easy. We're doing this stuff to help promote and change the industry and to make you more successful down the road. And that doesn't always happen and mean that immediately everything's a success. So if you don't feel super comfortable with it, don't worry about it. It's OK. It'll be OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the program design model. So we're going to take this information, understanding the human body. You guys have a great background now in how it works. You have a great background in kind of what the body looks like, how it moves, and then what happens when it moves. Now we're going to transcend that into the program design model. And what the program design model is really going to do is walk you through how we're going to categorize the different adaptations or goals of a client, why we've put it in a certain way, and the different levels and the different processes that, are, that the client is going to go through. Now, this program design model is fairly unique to what we do. It's fairly simplistic, but it's very stepwise. It's very organized as you kind of go from this phase to this phase to this phase. We've done it specifically that way to help teach you. So just let yourself kind of watch. Go through the, the different presentations. You're going to see the different goals of a client, from weight loss to wellness to sports conditioning to the, the other aspects of lean body mass gain. So you're going to see these different, these different adaptations of different goals that your clients are going to come with, what they kind of entail, and how this program design model will help them get to that goal, and how these other bits of information are going to help you understand that. So we're going to start tying this together into the practical application that you're going to deliver to your, your specific client. So we got some cool stuff here. So pay attention, because as we move down, you're going to see how this stuff all links together. It begins to really tell a story from, here comes my client. What do I do with them? And then how do I now get them to be successful? And that's all we're going to do. We're going to make you successful. Have fun.